So I teach survival school. So have you gone camping before? Yes. You have? What did you do camping? Just like in a tent? Um, we have an RV. An RV? <laughs> right, so you can take away that RV. And now what are you going to do? Where are you going to sleep? If you didn't have that, where would you sleep? In a tent. You know, what if you didn't have a tent? Um, we have to sleep on the floor. There you go. So I teach a pilot. Fine. If they find I'm themselves <laughs> in that situation where I teach them to use this parachute right here to make a, a tent. And you sleep on the ground. And stuff. So they go through that. And then, what do you guys have to eat when you camp? Um, All kinds of snacks. Nature. Nature? Uh, yeah, teach them how to get to things like bugs. <laughs> have you ever eaten a bug before? Yeah. Have you seen those little cricket candies? Yeah. <laughs> Next time you're in the store, you can see one of those little cricket candies. Have mom and dad buy them for you, okay? Okay. <laughs> <You're> committed. <laughs> so that's, that's what we teach these guys to eat. They can't find anything else. So they also teach, we also teach how, how to get water, all right? So obviously you just grab a bottle of water or you turn on the faucet at home, or if you don't have that. Okay. You have to drink water. water. Yep, water fountain. <laughs> Sometimes you'll have a water fountain or maybe it doesn't work. I don't care. Oh, a waterfall. Oh, a waterfall, yeah. Or a lake. Or a lake. All right, and sometimes that, that stuff's water. not, it's gross, right? It's icky. So sometimes you have to put certain things in water to make it drinkable and it tastes better. So that's what, again, we teach them how to use some of their, their equipment, all right? And the one, the stuff that they have when they fly is just right here on this board. So, hey, I'm gonna look. so this is all they have. So they found themselves outside of that airplane. This is all they have, so it's not much, right? So not too much stuff. And in there, they'll have that stuff we talked about for water, maybe a knife to help them out cutting some certain things here and there. And then you put your water in here, store it in there. All right, and all this is going to be inside of this little pouch right here. So this stuff is all things that are going to help you get home, right? Because if you find yourself on the ground, you got to get back home, right? So this stuff right here, this stuff has a bunch of smoke in it and then fire bright things to help other people find you if you're on the ground, all right? And then, let's see, this right here is a compass. I have another one we can look at. You know what a compass is? What's a compass? Um, it tells you where you're going. There you go, so it tells you where you're going. So same type of stuff you might have in an airplane, you're gonna have on the ground. So in order to use this, you use it with a map. And a lot of times people forget how to use maps nowadays because they have their phone, and they just take out their phone, and then they look at where they're going on their phone, right? But we reteach them or teach them how to use this compass and a map in case they have to walk somewhere or walk themselves back to safety. All right? So basically, we teach them if something goes wrong, how to survive and stay alive. All right? So the other thing that we do is this canopy right here. You've seen parachutists, right? Guys that jump out of planes and have the canopy. That is their canopy. So this is their emergency canopy. Nice, bright, brightly colored. All right? So you can use this to hide, and you can also use it to make yourself know, hey, I'm on the ground, and this is what I've got. Right. What if you land in the ocean? So if you land in the ocean, what do you think you would do? Swim back to shore. Swim back, and guess what? <laughs> You've got this cool life raft right here. So it could be a long way. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> You've got this, you can float in, all right? So instead of treading water and trying to swim back, you can just hop in that and get inside of that. And you also have a little flotation floaties that you wear on your harness, which will, I'll show you what that is uh, next door, but you'll have that thing to hang out in. Life vest. Yep, it's a life vest, yep. So these right here, are gonna come up. Kind of like a parachute. Right here, right here, and, here. and then right there. But that's what it'd be attached to, the parachute. Yep. So that's what you'd wear before you set in the aircraft. Does that ever scare you? You know that it's going to work and it's going to get to the ground safely? Mm -hmm. Cool. Should show up to your left. Yeah, well, we will. What's up? Can we hang now? Yeah.
Yeah. Where is, do you have a center stick in your airplane? Mm, is it in the yes. middle? And does it move quite a bit? Yes, it yeah. moves a lot. Yeah, like it could hit your leg? Yes. Yeah. I have to like spread it out the very edge. Right, so you don't care if these aren't in the way? Yeah. Yeah, well this stick barely moves. No, it doesn't move at all. So you're just flexing your wrist to move it. And then for our attitude and our heading and all that stuff <coughs> up here, this is the HUD. So this one obviously doesn't have any power, but you see all of it just like hovering in space, like green printout of your altitude, your airspeed, your attitude, all, all that stuff. It. So these we don't really use very much unless the HUD's not working or if we're doing like flying in the weather. The inside the clouds, then we would use that for doing approaches to land. I think her sim has the hut, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, so you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I do. Because <laughs> Daddy, once he got you down, and then he that broke down. All his electrons broke. All his electrons <laughs> broke. Yeah, that'll happen. <laughs> That's yeah. a bad day when the electrons break. Yeah, Daddy. All you. All of you. That's the light that lights up if something's wrong. What's his own? Well, those are all the, so that's saying the canopy's open, which would be bad if you were flying, right? You're all windy. <laughs> <laughs> all these do different things. One talks about fire, fire sensor, there's like an engine, there's flight controls, there's all different lights that could come on, but they don't come on very often. Oops. Not really. <laughs> I think they go together. Yeah, because there's two there's two engines. Cool. It's cool. Daddy's gonna take a picture. You wanna go next? I thought I was being third in line, huh? Where is it? <laughs> Where is that? Where is it? What? Where's the thing in the six? Where's the thing that has all of the instruments? Oh, the HUD? Yeah, where is the HUD? I think it would just be yeah, next time. <laughs> all right, can you guys say thank you? Say thank you. Yeah. You guys have fun today, okay? okay. All right, thank you. See you in a couple of years. Yeah? Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> All right, I'll put my hat on. Yeah, go put your hat on since you're going outside. We can just have no glasses. Okay, well, where are your glasses? In your pocket? Yeah. Okay.
<laughs> nice to meet you too. <laughs> so I'm supplied for the Thunderbirds. We order all the parts for all the aircraft out there for the maintenance guys to fix them. Mm, yeah. Cool. So that's your size. You want to come back here? Ooh. I can show you some of the stuff that we have back here. So when they need like random parts, they come back here, and these are just some of the parts that go on the aircraft to fix them. Ooh. Right? Lots of pieces. Lots of pieces. We have small things like this. We have really big things like that in the silver packing right there. We have. Everything. Yeah. But every time something's wrong with the plane and the maintenance guys need to fix it, they come to us and we look it up and we can see all the parts in the whole entire force. <laughs> yeah, it's like Walmart just for the FCC. Yes, just for us. <laughs> and they come from all over the world mm -hmm. to make sure that Mace can get up and fly. Yeah, a lot of people that put a lot of work just for one jet to fly. <laughs> How is that even possible? How is that possible? So I have a computer system that I look up stuff in. The guys out there, they'll bring me a series of numbers, like a bunch of numbers all put together, and I put it in the computer, and then it shows me everything in the Air Force that I could order for that. And then I do all my numbers and stuff like that, and then it shows up. It's kind of like magic. It's like Amazon. Yeah. <laughs> yep, it is. But we have a ton of stuff. We've got parts in here. We've got parts everywhere. That's all we do. And then we also give everybody their uniforms. Ooh. And our sunglasses. And the, mm -hmm, the nice sunglasses that we have. The hats. Some of the hats, probably. Yeah. The baseball, uh, yeah, the baseball caps we give out. All the patches that we have we give out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That funny to see you see his mustache drawn on. Oh, <laughs> They're crazy. <laughs> They're so, what's your guys' favorite Obviously. And I like the boss. Oh, and you like the boss? Yes, that's number one. Just, it did work. Oh. No. Yeah, George. Yeah, George. And it's even upside down, just for her. That's cool, huh? Mm -hmm. Yep. Upside down. And number 11 and Yep, we have all these. And then we have a line trailer that we take on the shows with us that's a condensed version of this that we can tow around. That goes on the big plane. So when we go to all the shows, we have parts with us. So all of our gear, which is really important for being safe. We were feeling it. I'll let them show you and tell you about it. So today, you're a Thunderbird. And typically when we get our pilots in, we fit them up. So today you're going to get fit up to your AMP. So this is Brody, or Kyle. He's going to help me fit you up today. So. Okay. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is a, what we call like a G-suit, and this is what helps the pilots like retain their consciousness the aircraft so they don't fall asleep. Yeah. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to kind of step into it like a pair of pants. I'm too big because this is really small. <laughs> you know, just like pants. You're just going to put it on like this. All right. right. How many jeans have you pulled in your airplane? Six. Wow. Oh, I've seen your videos. Yeah, I've seen, her, I've seen your videos. It's a little big. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll okay, okay, okay. So we got a zipper right here and a button. So we're gonna go ahead and get you started with this right here. They always say you're a little small for a G suit, but we made sure we can find one that's close enough to fit you. All right, so we have these. So we're gonna wrap these around your legs and then we're gonna buckle them and then we're gonna zip them up. So could you stand in like a, like a B stance? So we need you to- Amelia, spread your legs. There, there you go. go. <laughs> yeah, lots of fun stuff that goes in this line. <laughs> <laughs> that is close enough. Oh, perfect. Right. You're yeah. a meatball. All right, you how's it meatball. feel? You're gonna sit your what do you think? Let's see, good? <laughs> you look ready. We usually conform the, the G suit a little bit more because there's laces on the back side. They make it super tight. Yes. But I don't think we're going to do that. <laughs> it looks good right now. <laughs> How do you feel? How does it feel? Good? 
Nice. <laughs> Alright, let's get the rest of your stuff on. <laughs> That's it. That's just the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can try. Okay, this yeah, take the sticker off. Okay. So cool let's go. Stick that. Yeah. All right. Maybe so I'll have a child's harness. She got a pink flight suit. She could put it on. So what happens yeah. is this connects to the parachute inside their aircraft. No. Um, you can't see the chute when they're in the aircraft. It's all packed into a small container. Mm -hmm. But when they eject from their seat, um, this right here is where they're going to be connected to their chute. So your harness is basically like your lifeline to your parachute. She wears a parachute when she flies. Oh, nice. She, she wears the one that's attached to her back automatically, right? Yeah. Okay. My helmet's still in my so car because I brought it, brought it to the Kelly Clarkson show. Cool. So, it's kind of like the harness that she kind of puts on for her, um, her parachute. But it's a little bit more, we have other safety it out on. Right, yeah, we went over to the Sears. Yeah, and she put it yeah. on and everything? Yeah, Sears, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did they have her in a hanging harness? Yeah. Okay. They all have three of them. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Those are people. All right. Okay, so are you able to reach between your legs right here? And put them up? You know where they go? This is spaghetti? Yeah, right there. Perfect. That's funny. Awesome. This? What this is? Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she's been waiting for. Right there. <laughs> All right, so the way that you're going to put this helmet on is you're going to grab it by, the, see how the ear cup's inside? Yeah. You're going to grab it by the bottom. You're going to kind of spread it apart like this. It kind of takes a little bit of effort. And then you're going to place your forehead at the very top and kind of like roll it down over your head. So you might have to take off your butt. Uh, is it this is a small? Do you think it's going to fit? Yeah, it should fit. You want the zeta line? Yeah. It's a regular zeta line. It's not a good one. Try putting it on. Oh, okay. <laughs> there we go. How's it feel? Good? Yeah. It's alright. It's not going to be. Okay. Did I seal the cord? Mm. Alright, so we're going to... We're going to connect this oxygen test. <laughs> 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 yeah. That'd be, that'd be torture. <laughs> <laughs> alright, that feels pretty cool. Oh my goodness. We're going to let the mask in and then we're going to get her to yeah. get the visor down. Okay, that's good. Alright, so this is your mask. And this is what... Can you still hear me? Yeah. <laughs> you hear a lot? Okay. So this is your mask and this is um, what's going to provide oxygen to you while you're in the aircraft. So we're going to hook you up right here. It's like I want that old too. Altitude chamber to get your like hypoxia testing stuff. And I was like, so gonna have this over here. You can still breathe. It's just gonna be like suffocating. I'm so used to it. Alright, so what I need you to do is kind of hold the mask to your face where it's kind of comfortable. And I'm gonna tighten it just a little bit. So ready. Do you wear mask when you fly? How's that feel? Is it no. running up too no. much? Okay. It's good? How's that feel? Good? Mm -hmm. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> gotta get the visor too. That happened. Oh yeah, yeah. We'll get one with the visor. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna do your visor real quick. <laughs> 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 Could we inflate one of the G suits on the tester oh, yes. to show them how that works? Yeah. 
So inside the G suit, while they wear it, there's like air balloons, and then it buzzes the jet. Actually, we'll put it inflate it with air and it squeezes your legs. No, push everything that the G's push, are pushing down back up. So they'll show you. They'll blow it up so you can see how it's on you. Did y'all want to come over here and see it? Feel it? You want to come press the button that inflates it? Right. So, you okay. want to press the button or you want to hold it? All right. Here's okay, the hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Is this G suit? I'm getting. All right. Yep. Ready? No. Yep. Yeah, there you go. There you go. So it starts to inflate with air. So fill up the leg. So grab, grab this right here. So you start to feel the air get into it. It's going a little bit slower because it's not wrapped up and it. it's not pressed against the body. <coughs> Can you feel it? Yeah. Oh. It squeezes your legs real tight. Mm hmm Now imagine being wrapped around your legs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 oh, what? Uh, this might be like a little hot I was going to say, well, you might yeah. overinflate it. Yeah, I don't want to overinflate it. That's cool, huh? Now, how do we get that in? <laughs> Why, Ready? Part. You want to press down on this? Uh, mm -hmm. On the edge of it. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not wrapped yeah. up. So it's yeah. Come out yeah. If you guys press on it, it'll come out faster. <laughs> no, but we'll fold it up like you know, like a blanket where we use roll up the mattress, oh, like the air it. mattress. Yeah. We're pretty much squeeze in, roll it on it, press it on it. Gotcha. Yeah. So one good thing about this, it actually has a seal, um, so it's like a water, um, water lock seal. So it doesn't let water technically get in through this wing. So you oh, actually have to okay. press the lock in order to open the passageway. Oh, gotcha. So when you release, that's the reason why the air won't escape because it's blocking it as well. Gotcha. Cool. What do you want to say? Thank you. That's cool, huh? You're welcome. Going off, you're gonna want to put them okay. on. Wait, what? Let's you ready? Go. All right, let's do this. Okay. Is that a bag fall too? You circle it there and it'll fall off the edge. 